Well, hello. We're back for Mirror Talk. This will be our first Mirror Talk for the month of June. So, I am not even together here, okay? I'm not. But you guys going to be okay that I'm not. So, I read something, and it made me think of you. It made me think of the fact that no matter what, you are beautiful, you have value, and you have purpose. So let me read what I read today. It was out of a great book. It's a book by Brene Brown, who I think is absolutely amazing. So let me read what she says. She says, ads, like advertising, okay? Ads sell a great deal more than product. They sell more than products. You know what they sell? Value, images, concepts of success, worth, love, popularity, normalcy. They tell us who we are, who we should be. And then she ends by saying, sometimes they even sell addictions. Okay? So that's what I read today. Well, it wasn't today. I read it again today. I read it earlier. One of my books that I actually like. Um, I like to read continuously. But anyway... What does that have to do with you? Okay, this is what it has to do with you. When you focus or when you put more stock in or when you think or when you believe or even when you think you know that the stuff that you see on television, in magazines, on social media, in movies, on the billboards, I mean, in the ads, clothing ads, and all the things, whatever it is that you're looking at. I'm looking for a new outfit, and so maybe you go on Pinterest, or maybe you go on Etsy, or maybe you just like to look at different magazines and find different things. Whatever it is, when it is an ad, when it is marketing, when it is publicity, when it is any form of advertising, guess what? It's not 100% authentic. It's just not. Like me, take for instance. Guess what? I have the little ring light that's over there. Okay, see my little shiny forehead here? Because that's the ring light. Okay, but if I don't put the ring light on, then the lighting is all off. Okay, I have a microphone because one, I talk so fast. Two, it reminds me not to talk so fast. And three, it just kind of, you know, I don't know, does better with your voice. Okay, and then look, I shaded in my little brows. I didn't do a good job this morning because you know why? I was in a hurry. I had a crazy morning at the gym. So, these are like, I don't know, 45 second brows. Okay, but you know what? They're okay. Have eyeliner right there. See my little eyeliner under my eyes right there? And then I have on some lipstick. So even this picture that I'm giving you right now, not 100% authentic. Oh, like this. See this hair right here? Now my hair is this color, okay? It is. But this isn't, like my hair isn't this long. My hair doesn't look like this. But this is easy for me because it's summer and I want, it's easy. I want to get up in the morning. I want to take my bonnet off and I want to go. I want to go to the gym. I want to put it up real fast and then I want to be done. Okay. So when you see these things and you start using them as a comparison or you use them a mirror, like you say, when you look in the mirror, you're basing it on these things that you've seen that are not authentic. They're not. Okay? They have programs on phones and pictures now. You can get your waist snatched so you don't even have to have a perfect waist. It'll do it for you. You can take wrinkles out. You can make it this. You can get rid of your double chin. I mean, you can do just about anything without even getting plastic surgery and make your picture look perfect, okay? 
And so you cannot put stock in so much belief into that. Don't do it. Okay? Don't try and find your beauty by looking at this thing, this person, this whatever form of advertising or marketing that they have. Do not use that to determine your beauty. Because remember, I've told you, there's not another person. But they say we have these doppelgangers, people that look like us, and they probably do. But you know what? No matter how much you look like me, you're not exactly me. And there's so much other greatness that comes with this wonderful face right here that even if I did have somebody that had a face nearly exactly like mine, guess what you don't have? All the rest that comes with me. Okay? Same thing for you. Someone could look so much like you, but they don't have all the rest that comes with you. And you know what all the rest is? Your value. Do not look for your value in stuff, in things, in other people. No. Because you have value. I don't care what anyone has said to you. I don't care what... Nothing. You've read, you heard in a song, nothing. You have that. You, 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 you have value, okay? And you have purpose. So we're not going to allow advertising, marketing to determine or define. It's not going to determine anything about you, nor are we going to allow it to define anything about you? Because it can't. You can't take something that's been airbrushed and snatched and fixed and this and that and then compare it to your mirror when you're standing there. Okay? You can't. You can't take somebody else and say, oh, look, no filters. Okay, right. First of all, the camera itself is a filter. There's a lens there. Okay. So I don't even know. No, 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 no. So we are not going to allow those things, things that you see, things that you hear, things that you think, things that someone told you, things that you read. We are not going to allow those things to define your value, your worth, your purpose, your beauty. I mean, I could go down the list. Okay? We're just not. And guess what? You are perfect in you. You are a perfect version of you. I'm going to make a whole nother mirror talk about that in just a second. You are a perfect version of you. That, that's going to be next. That's going to be the second one for the month of June. You are a perfect version of you. Mirror of perfection. Mirror of the perfect you. So, back to ads. We're not doing it. We're not going to do it. Okay? We're not. You know why? Because you're beautiful. You know why else? Because you have value. And not the last reason, but it's the one that we always put last in this list. You have purpose. So, just like the ads and the marketing have a purpose to try and sell you worth, to try and sell you value, to try and sell you popularity, they, like that's that's the job. That's the purpose of the ad, to try and sell you something. I'm not selling you anything. I'm telling you what you are. I'm telling you who you are. You are beautiful. You have value and you have purpose. And there is not an ad or 
anything that can say I'm wrong, nor can it say you're wrong, because you are not, as long as you're saying, I am beautiful, I have value, and I have purpose. Okay, until our next one. Bye.